I would like to uh, summarize uh, shortly our uh, research, uh, which were done last year in the Eger wine region in Hungary, uh, concerning the uh, measurements of the uh, uh, fruits on my, uh, microclimate. As uh, on the first uh, day of our Congress, uh, many uh, authors, many uh, presentations mentioned already, the climate has a great, influ a great influence on uh, wine quality and also on wine style. Uh, it can be uh, uh, searched, it can be uh, investigated on a macro scale, on meso scale or micro scale. Uh, very shortly, very briefly, I would like to uh, mention a few authors, a few papers uh, from the past uh, which started to deal with the effect of uh, temperature, like Amarin and Winkler, uh, and then Cleaver, Leider, uh, Branas. Uh, later, some uh, climatic indices were elaborated to better understand uh, the characteristics uh, of a special uh, vineyard, of the special uh, terroir, and also to compare uh, the circumstances, the growing circumstances uh, of the different wine regions of the world. Like uh, those indexes, uh, just a few of them, like the Winkler index, the Uglen index, the Tonietto and Carbono uh, elaborated also the multi, uh, multi criteria indexes, and there are some, some others, uh, of course, I, I wouldn't mention all of them. Uh, not uh, uh, very far ago, I mean uh, about 20, 30 years ago, uh, weather stations uh, occurred uh, in the vineyards. Uh, nowadays we have automatic weather stations. Uh, on the internet, uh, many uh, databases are available to characterize, uh, to get uh, uh, information to get data of a uh, certain uh, terroir, of a certain vineyard. And uh, there are also some uh, climate models which uh, can describe uh, quite well the, uh, let's say, the, the macro uh, climate or the mesoclimate of a, a certain uh, vineyard. However, uh, these, um, uh, these indexes, these uh, uh, databases, these models, uh, don't give uh, very, very precise information up till now what's happening in the, in the fruit zone or in the, at the uh, canopy level. So that's why the aim of uh, our study was uh, to describe the fruit zone's microclimate, uh, considering the temperature and relative humidity with the so-called fine scale measurement in three vineyards differing in, uh, differing in their elevation on the so-called uh, Nagy Eged Hill, which is in the Eger wine region of Hungary. Uh, this uh, hill has uh, very nice uh, vineyards. Uh, two years ago, some of you uh, might have seen in it and uh, uh, this vineyard is a, a little bit steeper uh, sloped vineyard uh, the wines uh, are differing the wines coming from the different vineyards are differing in uh, uh, the wine style uh, among the slope so let's uh, show a little bit where we are uh, uh, carrying out this uh, this research so uh, uh, in Hungary in the northeastern part uh, we have the Eger wine region here, and uh, this is the uh, wine region's map. Uh, it is located uh, at the 47th uh, latitude and the uh, uh, 47th <coughs> northern latitude and the 20th uh, eastern longitude. Uh, the main uh, cultivated variety of uh, this region is the Blau Frankish or uh, Cake Frankosch variety. Uh, Blau Frankish, as you know, it's grown also in Austria, in, in uh, Germany. But uh, here in the Eger wine region, it is uh, used for uh, a base wine of a blended bull's blood or Saint du Toro, uh, as the French says. Uh, so it is the, the base wine and the uh, uh, in the blending it takes about 40% um, uh, among the other varieties like Blauburger, Portuguese, Zweigert, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc and the uh, uh, Hungarian autochton variety, the Kadarka. Uh, so let's check uh, where, is, uh, where are located those vineyards uh, in which we inves investigated the fruit zone. So this, uh, digital, uh, this is a digital elevation model of the Nagy Eget Hill. 
uh, this is the lower part, the middle part, and the top part what we investigated. And here you see on an orthophoto, uh, uh, this is the, the lower part, middle part, and, uh, and upper part. Uh, the cultivar that we were using, as I mentioned, was the Blau Frankish, the row orientation north south, uh, three by one meter row and wine spacing. Uh, uh, the uh, wines were trained uh, vertically shoot position, and the aspect of the slopes uh, were south facing. Uh, we placed in the uh, fruit zone uh, those. Uh, uh, so-called uh, uh, small temperature sensors, like tiny tech, uh, sensors. This was a uh, so-called EasyLog uh, EL USB sensor made uh, in the UK. Uh, in each um, uh, of the vineyards, we uh, positioned four uh, sensors, and so we had four repetitions in the in the fruit zone, and. Um, uh, the uh, measurements uh, were done in three time intervals. Uh, it's a little bit uh, surprising why we had uh, three time intervals, but it was just for changing the battery and, uh, and downloading the, the data, since uh, uh, we were using a five minutes interval of uh, data collection, and uh, that's why it was necessary to download uh, the data several times during the, uh, the summer time. Uh, then we split uh, uh, all the uh, all the data for a day uh, 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 range, uh, time range, and for a night range. For the day range from 7 a.m. to uh, 7 p.m. and uh, for the night uh, range from 7 p.m. to 7 uh, a.m. Because we wanted to know what is the difference between the daily uh, uh, temperature values and uh, the night temperature values. Uh, so temperature and relative humidity uh, uh, data uh, were recorded every five minutes. And um, as a mathematical statistics, the Maraskios procedure uh, was used uh, uh, to distinguish the uh, uh, different, uh, different plots, different terroirs. Here I only show you uh, the magnification of uh, a small time range, which is, uh, which is about five days. Uh, and you see here the, the uh, day, daily maximums and the night uh, minimums. Uh, as you see here, uh, the red line during the night indicates the middle uh, part of the, uh, of the hill uh, side. And uh, we had usually, uh, in most of the cases, we had the warmest temperature in the uh, middle part and uh, the lowest temperature in the uh, lower part. There were not uh, such a big differences in the daily uh, maximum as uh, you see. Uh, the differences were larger uh, at night. Uh, it's a very brief summary uh, of our data of the three time uh, intervals uh, of the lower part, the middle part, and the upper part. So in each time interval, we had uh, the highest uh, uh, night time values uh, 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 from the middle part of the, of the slope. And uh, uh, lower values were always obtained at the lower part. And uh, on the uh, top uh, part, uh, there were some changes during the season. I don't like too much uh, uh, those uh, complicated tables when you cannot see very well uh, the data, but I would like to call your attention uh, to, this, uh, to those night uh, data and the significant uh, 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 significance level. Uh, so uh, in the middle uh, part of the, of the hill, we had always significant difference um, uh, uh, and higher temperature uh, for the whole season. So we were thinking uh, what factors uh, can influence the temperature along a hill slope. And uh, uh, I uh, was just uh, trying to summarize a few effects uh, what is uh, known from uh, geology. Uh, so first of all, uh, as uh, there is a general geographical load, the temperature drops uh, uh, down with the elevation. Uh, each uh, uh, each hundred, oops, 
uh, each uh, 100 meter, uh, there is an 0.6 um, uh, Celsius dropping of the temperature if you uh, consider it as an, as an undisturbed uh, condition. So uh, another evidence uh, which was uh, uh, described uh, also by some authors uh, uh, dating back uh, with about uh, three, four uh, decades, uh, that uh, uh, warm uh, air belt is developing in the middle of a, a slope, uh, especially during the, the night time. Uh, when uh, the co uh, core temperature cools down uh, uh, to the bottom of the, of the valley, uh, then uh, you will have a, a so-called warm air. The location of this uh, warm uh, belt is uh, higher during winter time and a little bit lower uh, during summer time. Another factor uh, which could influence uh, uh, quite well uh, or quite much uh, the microclimate of uh, the wines uh, are the so-called gravels, pebbles, st stones, what uh, we can have on the surface of, uh, of our soil. And uh, I would like just to uh, show you a small uh, uh, video of uh, the Nagyeget Hill. Is, uh, if you see here, we have also the, uh, many, many uh, small limestones uh, covering the top uh, of the soil, and we believe that uh, they were also working uh, as, a lit, uh, as, some, uh, as, as a radiator that during the daytime it uh, uh, accepts the heat, and during the nighttime it uh, reflects, uh, re radiates uh, the heat. Uh, one more aspect we should take into consideration, uh, the so-called uh, so slope angle, which also affects the temperature uh, close to the ground. Uh, the steeper the slope uh, is, uh, the more radiant heat we receive the plant uh, or the fruit zone. Uh, the two authors uh, mentioning that uh, are uh, Hancock and, uh, and Huggett. Uh, those effects, uh, uh, what I was uh, just mentioning, uh, can influence um, uh, the uh, uh, wine growing regions close to the northern border of wine cultivation, uh, which uh, like uh, this is the Mosel area and uh, this is the Rheingau area. Uh, some years ago we had a nice chance to measure photosynthesis uh, uh, in Geisenheim with uh, Hans Schulz and uh, it was such a steep slope that uh, we even couldn't go up by uh, normal walking. We had to run up uh, to the hill and catch the first, <laughs> first <laughs> and, and uh, uh, then we could make uh, the measurements. So this steep slope uh, can uh, uh, also benefit uh, from, the, from the effect of the solar radiation. So uh, in our case, uh, uh, we uh, uh, proved that the thermal belt was a principal factor of influencing the fruit zone temperature since uh, the upper part uh, of the hill is far steeper, uh, it gets more solar radiant heat and uh, also in the upper part the soil is richer, uh, richer in gravels and stones uh, the, uh, but uh, uh, the re-radiation heating effect did not exceed that of the thermal belt. Uh, concerning the relative humidity, uh, we obtained uh, uh, the higher uh, humidity always during the night time and always at the bottom uh, of the hill. Uh, this effect uh, can be uh, beneficial uh, for utilizing maybe less pesticides, uh, more environment, uh, environment friendly, friendly cultivation on the top uh, of the hill, that is the aeration of the, of the canopies uh, is better. So coming to the conclusion, uh, I, would last, uh, I would like to summarize uh, that uh, uh, the, microclimatic, uh, the, the, the microclimate on a slope is influenced by multiple factors as we saw. Uh, there is a temperature decrease, a temperature drop each um, uh, 100 meters by uh, 0.6 uh, Celsius. There is a thermal belt uh, developing in the middle, uh, that could a thermal belt develop in the middle uh, of the slope uh, due to the cooler airflow towards the bottom of the valley. 
and uh, heat uh, reflection uh, can also influence um, uh, the microclimate of uh, uh, the canopy or uh, the fruit zone. Uh, also the slope angle, as we saw, uh, can have a beneficial effect in the northern uh, uh, wine-growing regions uh, uh, of the world, of the cool, cool climate regions. In our case, the principal factor influencing the fruit zone temperature was um, developing the uh, development of the thermal belt. And um, as we are located at the 47th um, uh, northern latitude, so we believe that in many years when we have a little bit cooler temperature, this can help uh, the uh, ripening of the cultivars uh, uh, and uh, uh, in, uh, influencing the wine uh, quality. Uh, just to give you a bridge uh, to the next presentations, as our uh, session is now uh, sustainability and uh, and uh, biodiversity. So I have to mention how much uh, uh, care we should take uh, to our environment. Uh, those pictures are also from the same Nagy Eget Hill. It was uh, just last year when uh, uh, we had a rainfall of about uh, 50 millimeters in one day and a very big erosion. Uh, occurred. Uh, although this is the road up to the hill, but uh, this is the uh, vineyards row. So uh, uh, for sure, uh, due to uh, uh, climate changes, due to the very heavy, uh, rare and very heavy precipitation, we have to be uh, ready also for those uh, events. Thank you very much.